what's going on everyone, Joe from the home screen here doing a quick uh, how-to or tips and tricks for your Pebble Watch to work on your BlackBerry 10 device. Here you can see I have the beautiful BlackBerry Passport here in front of me and I have the Pebble Watch here. Now currently the Pebble Watch I am using the Hub to Watch app. So I'm going to go into this. Now these two apps are paid. Now you will have to have, let's start off from the beginning, you will have to have Talk to Watch Pro. This is important because if you do not have this, it does not have the APIs that will connect to the actual Pebble Watch. So you can see in the top there, it is currently connected to my Pebble F9, F6. This display you're seeing here is actually coming from Hub to Watch. And I like it a lot. Now I'm gonna show you that it actually is working by tapping on the battery, and out, you know it sends a percentage of my battery to my Pebble Watch, 100% of the battery. And if you're curious, like if uh, certain settings are or not working on your device, you could actually test them. If I can remember how to do that, and for the life of me, I cannot remember how to do that. But as you can tell, that is the Pebble Watch though on the BlackBerry Passport device. It is connected to that. And so now looking here at uh, Talk to Watch, what this does is it actually does send notifications to your phone, uh, to your sorry, to your Pebble. So it'll do your calls, it'll do your calendar, it'll do text messages, Facebook, Twitter if you set it up, and uh, BBM as well on there. Sports will allow it to use like the built-in um, speedometer, I guess you can call it. I'm not correct, sure the correct word to use on the Pebble. And screenshot, I believe it takes a screenshot of the passport. Or take a screenshot of the actual Pebble. I, I have not figured that part out yet. So for anyone who knows the answer to that, please feel free to let me know in the comments below your idea of what's going on with that. Now, the reason why I use Pebble to Watch is because it actually will have notifications show up on your Pebble screen there. So you see there are six icons or six numbers on the Pebble Watch there, right? And what you can do is you can actually set it up. So I'm going to go into Watch Faces here. And on Watch Faces, you can see these are the watch faces that are available for your Pebble Watch. So you can choose what design you'd like if you want to have just two notifications showing one phone call you know is waiting there or if you want to have four icons on there if you want to have six icons you know these are features you can have on there as long as as well as the weather which is kind of cool and now if i go into my settings here you'll see all the settings that are available on that pebble watch so you get your standard stuff show the weather on there you know fahrenheit uh, would be the temperature scale uh, if you want, if you have multiple calendar events going on, it will actually show your calendar events as well on there. So you can see on the watch now, it's updated. Currently 30 degrees out in my wonderful cold North Dakota area. Um, you can also set it so that it actually, when you shake the watch, so it's on your wrist and you shake it, it will show the battery indicator for both your watch and your BlackBerry device. So now if I do that, and if I shake it, there we go. 100% battery life for the Pebble and 100% battery life for the BlackBerry device. So that's that's a cool feature. I actually turn it off because it does eat battery life and I do happen to move my wrist an awful lot. Um, so we'll go ahead and turn that off again. And now you can see here's your notifications on your BlackBerry device. Remember I said there's those six icons, or at least the face watch I'm using, or watch face I'm using. These will be the icons that will show up. So BBM, Black. Uh, email, face, text, I, I gran, and you can also do notifications. So if you have uh, applications, it's mostly Android applications that are showing up, this will uh, allow those to show up on the screen. So, like I said from the beginning, you will need to have Talk to Watch Pro installed, and it has to be the Pro version, not the free version. There is a free version in the BlackBerry world. So both of those two applications can be bought. Uh, Talk to Pro, Talk to Watch Pro, I believe is $4.99 and Hub to Watch is, I believe, $1.99 in the BlackBerry world. 
So once again, those two are available in BlackBerry World. Not an Android app. Those are native BlackBerry apps. And once you do that, it will actually request, you know, once you once you go in, inside those apps, it will request, um, what's it called, pairing with your Black or with your Pebble watch. So that's all you gotta do is pair your watch together. It will say, yes, do you want to connect down here? It will say, yes, do you want to connect down here? Yes, you do. And then instantly with Talk to Watch, you'll have the notifications show up for your emails, phone calls, text messages, that kind of thing. And to show you that they're actually working, if I go to notifications here, you'll see there notifications. There's an email I had earlier from Google. There's an email I had earlier from Timberwolf. So there's my mom. So notifications are definitely working in there. And from my understanding, I'm going to go down here to settings. My understandings for settings, the do not disturb is still working. I believe it is not, it's still working. So for those who, you know, for especially for me, like at night, I don't want to have anyone bother me at night or have this vibration going on. That is a one of feature built into the Pebble Watch. So I believe that's still working. I cannot confirm that yet as I must not have had enough contacts over the last couple of days I've had the Pebble Watch and Black Bear hooked up together. So it is very easy to be done. If you want to use your Pebble Watch on your Blackberry and you're not looking for all the crazy apps that are currently available in the Pebble App Store, this is a great way to make it done. Hopefully in the future, Pebble will support the Blackberry on their own and they will have access to, or then we will have all access to the Pebble features that we would like. But for the meantime, this works very, very well. Please like, comment, comment below. Please like, subscribe, and comment below. That's how you're supposed to say it. Your thoughts on this video, your thoughts on the BlackBerry Passport, Black or the uh, Pebble Watch, and just overall what you think of how they're working together. And if you need any tips, hints, and tri tricks about these two watches or these two items, please comment and let me know what you need help with and I can attempt to help you out.